Hey, how's it going? You been getting enough food? Definitely. I'm eating way better than I was back in my mercenary days. You didn't eat so good, huh? I spent most of my time moving from place to place, so I had to manage on my own. I'd just fling whatever I could get my hands on into a pot. Can't say any of it ever tasted too great. Wow, I'm surprised you could even live like that. And you never stayed in an inn? Sometimes, if one happened to be nearby and I had a little extra money lining my pockets. But I never really felt like the food there was any better. Sounds like you were at all the wrong places then. Nothing fun about a bad meal, I always say. That's why I want my inn to be known far and wide for its delicious food. I was actually hoping to do some cooking out here, too, so I could hone my craft. But I don't think it's going so good. You want to know why? Hmm. If I had to guess, it's because you think everything tastes good no matter what. Hey, now. I know the difference between regular old grub and the kind of stuff that gets your mouth watering. See, all the meat and fish we've got in the pantry is preserved. When you're not working with the fresh stuff, nothing you make's gonna have people hollering for more. You think? But there are dishes from all over the world that use ingredients that are on the verge of going bad. You sure that isn't because they don't have a choice? I'm no expert, but I've heard it can make a nice cut of meat even more savory, depending on how you prep it. Huh. Maybe we can learn some more if we ask someone who's from one of those places. Not to mention, there are other ways of preserving food, too. You mean, besides dumping salt on everything? I'm sure you know about smoking your food, right? Things will keep for even longer if you do that after you cure them. Yeah, but I heard that makes meat all smoky and gross. Kind of defeats the point, if you ask me. I think it depends on how you do it, and what kind of wood you use. Apparently, it's really good if you do it right. Wow, you sure know a lot about this stuff. My mercenary days showed me more about the world than I could have ever imagined. I only really remember bits and pieces, though. Come on, don't be so modest. I can't wait to get back in the kitchen with these new ideas you gave me. Hey, speaking of ideas, you want to help me think up some recipes with the stuff we've got here? Well, I'm not so sure me and cooking mix, but yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. That's the spirit. I know we'll come up with some feast-worthy food if we just put our heads together. get all of them? Oh, that's the trouble with poachers. You never quite know where they are. Well, we've hit every likely hideout, so I'm guessing we cleared them all out. I'm glad you were here, Leone. You really know the lay of the land. Well, Sawin is my home. But you've been here before too, Captain. Sure, but that was a long time ago. And I don't remember it all that well. Ill news, Captain. Another group of poachers has taken hostages from a neighboring village. These people are a disgrace to poaching. Saying so makes it sound like you believe there was some honor in the activity to begin with. These hostage takers must be friends of the poachers who were just here. According to the people of the village, they were involved in kidnapping as well as poaching. They made it sound like more than a few people have been taken from the surrounding villages recently. Sawn too? Yes, they said there was one. Oh, it makes me so mad. These folks sound like bad news. We'd better do something before these new victims are dragged off and never heard from again. 
House Gloucester's orders were to deal with the poaching issue in sawing. We did that. Our work is done. How can you be so cold? If you see someone in trouble, you help them. That's just basic decency. I don't see anyone here, do you? You know what I mean. Easy, Leone. The kid was just stating a fact. I'm sure no harm was intended. How could you possibly raise such a cold and unfeeling person, Captain? I wasn't always the best dad, I admit. Uh, perhaps we should shelve this conversation for now and determine our next move? Plenty of villagers helped me out the last time I was in this neck of the woods, so it's only right I pay it back. Plus, I'm not just going to sit by while poachers run wild in my apprentice's home turf. Captain! But we can't linger long. We track down the bad guys, free the hostages, and go home. Got it? I knew you'd do the right thing. You don't have any connections here, so it's your call if you want to pitch in or not. Nobody will think worse of you if you decide to duck out on this little goose chase. Nah, I'll come. I wouldn't want anything to happen to Leone's home. Good to know I can count on you, at least. I'm sure you'd manage without me. But many hands make light work and all that. Then let's roll. Leone, you're in charge. Leave it to me, Captain. Now, enough deliberation. The time has come for plain old liberation. Uh, sure. Right behind you. Hostages must be further in. Maybe we can draw the bed. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Not a problem. I've got this. Got it. Time to make an attack. That guy's away from them first. A fine plan, Captain. Once we've done so, we can easily rescue the hostages. Here we go then. Let's make some noise and get their attention. How many decades has it been since I was here last? Where does the time go? I know what you mean, Captain. Though not literally, of course, as I don't believe I was with you at the time. Initiating the operation. Let all right. Take it down. My turn. This stronghold will fall. We were dealing with poachers the last time we were here too. Remember? Can't say I do. Prepare to lay siege. My own Wait, now I remember. None of you were with me the last time I came here. That makes sense. She would have been too young, and I was with the Knights of Seraphs. Take a breath. I'm on it. Let's go. Not a problem. I'm in. Just stand there with your mouth. Attack! 
Not a problem. I'm here to help. Got it. Whoa, I should go help. I'm on it. I'm... Well, you've drawn them out. Now's our chance to rescue the hostages. Okay, let's take care of any enemies who held back and rescue those hostages. No escape! Guess we should mop up the rest of them, huh? Good piece, Captain. Initiating the operation. Let the little village go. Now I'm a mercenary. You really have come a long way. You? We? That's hard to imagine. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Captain Gerald taught me how to determine the flow of battle by capturing key points on the battle. He's the best. me as more of a hit him until they stop moving sort of guy. Oh, he's strategic when he needs to be. I'm on it. Let's see how it goes. Good handling turn. He does whatever it takes to win. <laughs> have to get them to a safe place now. I'm on it. I've got your back. Not a problem. I'm here to help. No way we're just gonna let you walk out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Admire how persistent they are. What? Hostages are in danger. Looking good. Got it. Whoa. Don't get caught. Seems like only yesterday, you were just a little kid. I know it seems like yesterday to you, but I've done a lot of living since then. Captain, was it too much work taking me on as an apprentice? Nah, I mean, I gotta do something to build the time, right? I think of you and Leone as my ship. All of us were... Initiating the operation. Let's go. Raised by Jerry. Hey, it's all. my turn. Which would make you. Come on, Alois. Our older brother. You 
were a pretty good friend. No matter how much I rambled on about this or that, you still hung on my every word. Well, I didn't know how to write, so the only way to remember your lessons was to concentrate as hard as I could. No, not yet. the operation let's go if get them where they're weak and Take be done with it wasted energy benefits no one Someone another of my lessons breaker. and a founding principle of the gerald school of war <laughs> Initiating the operation. Let no escape. I think we're about done here. Kill some poachers in the name of justice, no, huh? Mercy. Well, you meddlers should have mine. It's your own business. Initiating the operation. Let take a breather. I'm in. Ta 
so he responded right away. You did it, Captain. We did it, Leone. Okay, now we're really done. Let's beat it. Yes, sir. Not too shabby for an old timer. I went above and beyond. There's still room for improvement. I told jokes to the hostages as I delivered them safely back to their villages. You could say I had a captive audience. We've restored peace to this whole area, Captain. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mercs like us are only supposed to work for pay. But a freebie every now and then won't kill me. Yeah, I would have regretted it if I'd gone home. Thank you for doing the right thing. I just followed orders, that's all. Well, I'm thanking you anyway. Now the villagers can live in peace. I was supposed to stay here and be a hunter with my father, you know? But once I met the captain, I knew I had to try and make it as a mercenary. My father and the rest of the village always supported me, before the academy and after. It's been a long, strange path, but I finally became a mercenary and was able to help my hometown in the process. I don't think I've ever been happier. It feels like I've repaid some debts, although not my actual debt from school. Still working on that one. I'm glad we helped you give back, instead of helping to give you back. Alois, you mind reporting back and letting Count Gloucester know what happened? Oh, and, and don't forget to grab the reward money. Understood. I will away at once. Leone, why don't you run along to Sawin and let everyone know things are good now? Tell them I'll stop by later. I will, Captain. Thank you, again. You two should head back to base. I've got to pay my respects to the village elder and Leone's old man. Probably won't make it back until tomorrow. You expect them to throw you a feast, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, yeah, that's why you sent Leone ahead. So the villagers could prepare for your arrival. I mean, you got rid of the poachers and now Leone's telling them you're on the way? You're practically begging them to serve you up a fancy meal. It's not like that. Although, if I get there and they just happen to have a feast ready, it'd be rude to refuse. And poor Alois doesn't even get to join in on the fun. Shame. Hey, that guy hasn't had a drink in years. He's not missing anything. Now then, this is an evening for grown-ups, so you kids get on home. If anything comes up while I'm gone, you can handle it yourselves. Well, time for me to set off. Ah, there's nothing like that first drink after playing the hero. I'm impressed with your old man. That's a savvy move right there. I'll have to follow his lead someday. You would emulate him? 
Uh, probably not, now that you're asking. Well, guess us kids should shut up and head home. Maybe hold hands so we don't get lost. Must we hold hands? Only joking. I swear, the only thing duller than your blade is your sense of humor.